Next up, you're going to hear from Roy Scott. He is the CEO of Healthy Hip Hop. Roy is going to share how his company's been doing since he went through the social impact program in 2020. So Roy, take it away. Thank you, everybody. Run up a check and I save it. 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 I gotta make a deposit. Mama take me to the bank. Talk as a turn on investments. I do not get what you Hey. <laughs> yeah. My name is Roy Scott. I am founder and CEO of Healthy Hip Hop. We are building an urban Disney, infusing hip hop culture with innovative technology, education, and positive attributes. Now I want to take you on a journey to where this all started. See this guy in the middle? That was me once upon a time. What was I thinking? As a kid, I was heavily influenced by hip hop, and I didn't understand the importance of education. So after graduating high school, I decided instead of going to college that I was going to be a rapper. Maybe not the smartest decision, but on that journey, I had my wake up call when I was picking up my son Justice from school. And I noticed him repeating my music word for word. These lyrics promoted drugs, violence, and misogyny. That was my light bulb moment. I knew if I wanted to continue pursuing this dream, and more importantly, be the man and father I need to be for justice in my family, I'm going to have to completely change my direction and my message. And this is when Healthy Hip Hop was born. Taking my talents as a writer, producer, and performer, and using that to uplift children. Organically growing the brand, we've done more than 1,500 live events, reaching hundreds of thousands of children. Tested the market, proven the concept, and evolved to a tech company so we can meet our growing demand. And this is right when we started Techstars, launching our online platform for educators, allowing them access to our content educational resources that they live stream directly to their smart board to encourage focus and engagement and bring culture to the classroom. Now we started picking up big traction, onboarding schools, corporate partners, and then, bam, COVID hit. We were part of the inaugural 2020 cohort. And so at this moment, I talked to Barry, and Barry's like, listen, you have to find a way to turn this adversity into your advantage. And that's just what we did. Went back to the drawing board with a new look, a new feel, and a new direct-to-consumer model for healthy hip hop. Still using the online platform for educators, but now launching our mobile application, which is a Spotify meets TikTok in a curated environment for children, allowing parents to stream the music and empowering kids to create custom TikTok videos, but in a much safer environment for children and families. Shortly after that, school started opening back up. We did multiple paid pilots and secured our biggest contract to date with the Dallas Independent School District for $1.5 million. We also just secured our pre-seed round, $4 million, with a lead investment from Collab Capital. And we were back from Google for the Google for Black Founders Fund as well. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna clap it up for a G. <laughs> so our team is led by experts in the music industry, corporate and educational sales, software engineering, but most importantly is our love, passion, and commitment for what we do. And with our investment from Collab Capital came some human capital. We just brought on Lecrae as our strategic growth partner. He's a Grammy Award-winning hip-hop artist right here out of Atlanta. <laughs> hip-hop is the most consumed and influential genre of music in the world and is generating billions of dollars in revenue. Healthy hip hop will be the trailblazers in the children's hip hop market. Join us as we transform a generation through music, mindfulness, and motivation. Healthy hip hop is for the children, for the culture. Thank you.